Hi guys, so obviously you saw that my live video failed. So I just thought to create one video just to showcase what equipment I have been using to do my stacks. So uh, in during the live feed, I just talked about how I started macro. So I first started macro with um, the Renox uh, 150 and 250. And uh, when I bought my MP in 2012, that is when I thought to buy a macro rail so obviously that time money was an issue so I just bought one Amazon uh, rail so which is this one so in this Amazon rail it's just that uh, your camera sits here and uh, when your camera sits here so you have two main knobs so this is your main knob to move this rail part ahead and back and you have um, this uh, small knob which decides how much friction you want in the movement so if I lo make this loose and uh, this will go much faster and if I make this tight this will go much slower so essentially there are only two things so you uh, you have a screw here so you will mount your camera on this screw and this part here this hole is where you'll mount your tripod mount and your rail will sit on your tripod your camera will be like this and then you will be doing your movements here now the problem with this type of rail is uh, you can see here that it's a tooth design so in this tooth design uh, the rail will lock itself in the gaps and uh, this can pose a problem if you're doing if you're starting proper uh, stacking where uh, each and every step is important and uh, you don't want to miss any of those steps so in this uh, that is a possibility and the other part is uh, using these types of rails you can't judge unless until you use a micrometer precision uh, screw uh, the micrometer screwdriver or uh, something that in which you can measure uh, how far you're going from one step to the other uh, you will have uh, short wastages so with that I am saying so when I write in my photos that I took 32 shots I took 40 shots uh, maybe there is a possibility that in this rail that will go to like 60 or 80 so um, for people who are doing processing so I do a lot of processing so for me that 40 and 60 uh, is a lot of difference because uh, for if the same result can be done in 40 shots so uh, the software does not need to do uh, the next part of to do uh, 20 shots more so that 20 is a wastage so uh, people who are seasonal macro photographers who don't do macro all year long or uh, those who just do macro for to showcase on Facebook or uh, where they don't bother about quality or they don't bother about uh, if uh, one is to one details for them these types of reels are enough because they are going to give you the same result that what i am showing you on on my uh, feed on my profile but the only main difference is that with professional reels you are going to get uh, incremental steps with precision and uh, there will be no st short wastages so that you will have less processing time and you will have more room to play uh, in your post processing so with that I mean if I even if I do cropping so I know that with that precision when I do cropping the details will still be there but in terms of this rail there may be a situation where on your screen it looks good but when you start to zoom in you will see that there will be banding there will be gaps in between the focus planes and that can be a huge issue. So uh, this rail I think it costs um, I don't know how much it costs now but it's one of the cheaper size. Uh, sorry uh, cheaper prices and along with this uh, rail you have another rail which is sort of so this is your uh, y axis rail and then you will have an extra axis rail also built in with this so your camera which is moving right from here to here will also move from uh, your left to right uh, this rail was available on primes and booms but then it's gone uh, I never used that so I am planning to check that out but uh, many people who use it say I think it's 
it's good i think yogendra also has the two way access rail which moves from left to right and then forward and backward so uh, with this so you can see that i showed you that with this tooth design uh, it is a very simple rail and uh, one of the biggest problems in such designs is when you mount your camera with the mp so there is a lot of weight and uh, your camera will always be not like either straight horizontal or straight vertical it can be also on an angle so if your friction part is loose uh, the rail will start to slip because of the weight so if i am uh, doing manual movements here so there is a possibility and i have faced this that the rail will just slip away and then you will miss a shot so i think that is why then i decided to move on a professional level in terms of the stacking open equipment so uh, and next part i'll just show you the actual equipment now that i have and that i and that i use for uh, stacking in macro